Nazis will all die here in Stalingrad. You took everything from me. Now it's my turn. You won't find satisfaction in this. It won't end with me. We'll destroy you all. You won't be doing anything. Not me. Yeah. It's your turn! Fascista! Spidia! Ah! 
Where you've left me is this night. <laughs> I could help you. Incredible. You're all the same. I've killed more of you than I can count. And you all spout the same pathetic bullshit. Rising. Is he supposed to scare me? Another piece of fascist filth. Don't worry. I'll hunt him down next. <laughs> You thought you'd take my city and crush my people. You tried to break me, but you failed. You created Lady Nightingale. And now, she's destroyed you. Infamous Lady Nightingale brought Stalingrad back from the brink. Her actions inspired the Russians to take back their city and go on the offensive. Polina changed the course of the war for the Allies and her people. With that reputation, it was only a matter of time before we found her. What would Freisinger want with a lowly officer on the Eastern Front? What does it matter? It matters a great deal to me, Fraulein. Nice lighter. From what I could gather, Freisinger was recruiting Steiner for some special project. Project Phoenix. Could be. All I know is... I was sent to kill Freisinger. There's gotta be a better way out of here. There is no way out of here. Unless, of course, you have decided to do the intelligent thing. Open that door back up, and I'll show you the intelligent thing. You can get me out alive? What? I can. <laughs> you two-faced bastard. All right. I'll tell you what you want to know. Typical Aussie. No honor, no loyalty. Raise this up. I ain't gonna be the next sacrifice in your crusade, Tommy. I hope your plan was worth it. Break a leg, Lucas. I thought you'd be the one to put an end to your team's foolish agenda. You killing each other now, are you? Zuluk! Zuluk! Look. 
I know why you chose to cooperate. I would not take orders from a Negro either. <laughs> you got it all wrong, mate. No, don't follow. I don't care what colour his skin is. Haven't you heard about the Aussies and the Brits? We were the pieces of shit flushed down the crown's dunny. Yes, yes, of course, but your nations are allies. Hey, it was more like master servant. I did what I did because to every Brit, folks like me are expendable. Insubordinate, churlish, no stranger to a prison cell. That's Lucas. You had to credit the SOE. They were very good at spotting talent in the unlikeliest of places. And Lucas had talent. He was a skilled demolitionist with an explosive temperament and a sharp tongue. Out there in the desert, the rats of Tobruk were like a family. Unfortunately, they never did figure out how to get along with the brass. Today, princess? I'm savoring the moment. Oh, I'm so sorry. Of course you are, your highness. Hey, Bluey, wake up. You're going to want to see this one. Oh, fuck me. Play the damn cards. <laughs> All right, Des. Read them and weep. Oh. Fucking donkey, no way! Why the bloody hell aren't you at your post? Uh, Major Hems, we thought... We thought you'd muck around. Major, convoy's approaching. Right. You rats, follow me. Try and act like real soldiers for once. Sir. Oh, yes, sir. No, sir. Three... See, that's what a real soldier looks like, mate. <laughs> oh, what a way to stand up to him, Bluey. Good job, buddy. Fuck off, Des. What's he even doing here in the first place, huh? He's a major. He can do whatever he wants. You're lucky. I was about to make the comeback. Shut up, Des. You've never beaten me at anything. What? Ah, oh, mate, pull the other one. <laughs> 